Hi, Vicki Crystal Ann. And I want to talk about a lot of things that have been happening in my life lately. Because you may be going through it too in some way. So over this, I'd have to say last month, I have been uh, intently working with the Galactic Federation. And they came to me in the beginning of my journey. And at the beginning of my journey, when I first woke up, what I experienced myself for the first time through sun gazing, um, I uh, met the Galactic. And they did tell me at that time that I didn't need to learn anything um, that they would teach me. But me being me, I took the long course, which doesn't make it right or wrong. I just took a long way around. So I went through channeling when I went through shaman and I tested on all different areas of uh, spirituality, of uh, magic, I want to say. And um, what has happened is I let everything go and I just allowed and I had this overwhelming sense of beings around me and um, I was in the hot tub and uh, so the galactic has came to me since the beginning of my awakening on and off but now they're here intently guiding me and teaching me and showing me me and um, they've taken me through the past and they've taken me to uh, my future self and what is astonishing is that they showed me that by you know going and learning all these different things um, it's kind of like I had to let those go and now they're teaching me a new way and it's more aligned more connected to who I am not that either was wrong but it it's the fast track is what I want to say in the last month what they've shown me has been incredibly fast and um, and it's just so a part of me it's like infusing in me is the only way that I can say it so with that being said they showed me um, in and it was in, it's incredible too because they would show me something and then it would show up in my world somebody would tell me the same thing or uh, it would show up somehow and so um, one day and how I got the visions was I got them through, I get them through the whole day and I get them especially at night every night I wake up between one and three every night and I um, it's like I come out of a dream and it's so vivid so full of color um, and what they're showing me is that a lot of us it's happening to most of us now who are transcending over to uh, New Gaia we are traveling there in our dream state so our bodies can prepare for the energy because the energy is very high there and it it's like they're training us because they're showing me different aspects of how they're training us um, to be on new Gaia so we're already doing the preparation they've also showed me that um, like time is running out for those to evolve to pass over and the reason is it's like your body has to adjust your body can't just instantly take on this vibration because it will explode. Implode is what they always show me. It implodes. And so um, they are showing me that uh, so those who have made the choice to um, to raise your vibration, you're making that choice to go to New Gaia. I once had a lady tell me, she goes, no, I'm going to stay and I'm going to help the people that's left in the old world. That's not the way it works. And that's what they showed me. And this relationship that I've been going with, it's like the trust and the information has been coming so through my life for the last month intently at all moments that, um, and this trust of the information that they're giving me. And, um, so they showed me how like they seeded the world and um, I always said that our bodies are a form of Gaia but it's not um, we they seeded the animals and then we grew from the animals and then they showed me where the animals evolved so far that they actually imprinted the animals with uh, with their 
uh, you know, energy, and then it created us. And it was so crazy because I was sitting in the hot tub with my granddaughter, and she goes, you know, Nana, we used to be animals, and then uh, God made us smarter, and then we were born human. And I was like, wow. So, um, and, and it goes really you know, deeply into all that, um, but it just feels like, okay, so we came from there, and then they showed me about my lifetime when I came in here, and um, there was a huge shift in the universe when John F. Kennedy, and I didn't realize that um, uh, one specific person could, you know, the whole universe sees, but it, it does happen. And they showed me that a group of us came forward because there was a huge shift that was happening at that time when John F. Kennedy had passed, a frequency that had shifted, which is actually like the frequency right now of fear of nuclear war, of this chaos, uh, of everything breaking apart. And it's like the same type of energy. And they showed me that so many souls are trying to create are trying to be created into this world right now for this experience because it it has never happened in the universe any universe has the a conscious um body being moved over when a world is moving over and that's what happened that's what's happening we're going through a different paradigm so those who are choosing to stay behind now the experience could be it's so funny a warning came up on my uh, on my computer and that's what it's like it's like it's a warning that those who haven't risen to the occasion there is going to be it's going to be destructive very destructive and I see the uh, galactic has shown me that they're actually I see the world and not to put fear, but this is what I've seen. I've seen it many times in my dream states uh, over this last month. I see the world like a bomb going off. So um, those souls are actually taken to other planetariums to um, finish out their karma and um, that wheel of circle of karma. And then those who have raised their vibration will pass over into um, to new Gaia and what they've shown me is they show me bits and pieces and then it's just like I got to put all the, the pieces together. Um, and our bodies will transform over and as soon as we transform over and what they showed me about that uh, the, all the women that are sparking the collective to be birthed through this um, and it, it feels like kind of like a worm or a portal being birthed through, through our bodies will go through a transformation of becoming more light bodies the density will fade away and then they showed me over time we will recognize that we don't need our bodies because they are limiting they are confining and they hold us so we will evolve on new Gaia to become pure energy bodies where we will be bodyless and we will learn to be the full essence of who we are so in that they have showed me that the people that um, you know uh, choose to see the, to finish the karma they will do it on a different planetarium and that um, Gaia that we're all standing on right now on old Gaia is going to th go through a complete cleanse and actually what they showed me is so funny they were showing me that when the event happens on old Gaia it will set its, uh, it, it'll like twist the world where it's off of its central point. So the, the whole cosmos are preparing for this because it's going to hit all the universes. So what they're going to do is, which is so crazy, but I believe it, they're telling me, they're showing me, is that once this big, huge shift, that's why everybody's watching us in the cosmos because they've never had beings that has trans, you know, Fired when a world is transpiring, when a world is evolving, we're evolving. This has never happened before. And so as we are uh, moving forward and the other beings are moving to a different world to finish off their karma, there's going to be a great cleanse and then the galactic is going to come together and they're actually going to realign the world so it can continue. So fill that out your heart. So, um, and that actually came to me in a dream. 
and um, I actually had the dream for a couple of days. I didn't realize uh, because I was being shown bits and pieces of what it was. And it was like the first dream I had, and, I, I, and I've had visions of this where I, I'm standing on new guy and I can see, and we do have, we have perception of old guy, but we don't have the density of it. And, um, and we don't have the worry and fear and all that that's with it. That's none of that's going with us. So, and our bodies will become young and healthy and free of all the things that we are living through in this lifetime. What they've shown me too is our bodies are changing. So you may be feeling like, oh my God, I've been going through the breakdown in my system forever. Well, I feel in my body, it's rebuilding. So it's like a baby, you're relearning. And so like, I was trying to use my hands and it was like I couldn't grasp something because we're trying to relearn the new way of being. And we're going to um, te tell, it's so funny, I can't even see the word right now, telepathy, that, um, that everything is being connected. Instead of how we were disconnected in old oh, Gaia, now we're moving into where the information is going through us. And what they showed me is too, um, through th when I went and did my channeling classes, they never taught me, which the galactic is teaching me, about your subconscious and your consciousness. Now your consciousness is you're in a wake state and it's go what's going on around you in your world. Your subconscious is like your protector. It's connected to your higher self and it shows you everything. And so what they've showed me is to connect to my subconscious and then the energy just comes forward peacefully without the interruption of what's happening consciously. It's like a more pure form. So as I've been going through these visions and gathering and infusion in my life over the last month, there's been a lot that the galactic has been showing me. And um, it's incredible. It's incredible. It truly is incredible. And you know what? One of the most powerful things that they said is they told me that um, and it is the telepathy when they're talking to me. They told me that um, so many beings are coming in here because this experience is almost over. So even if the uh, person comes in only for a moment in the cosmos, they can say they were part of the transition. So um, the shift is happening and what we're going through is um, I put up a video earlier about the shift. Did you guys see the shift? I seen the shift. I seen it physically and I and I, I see him before. I've seen him before, but not so profoundly. And I seen it completely and I was like so energized through the day and I have been since Friday. So um, uh, as we're going through these layers of Gaia, our energy is in our body is like it's stepping up. You're taking on a little bit more energy. You're freeing yourself more. And then you're stepping up the next day, freeing yourself more. And you could do this through the whole day. So it doesn't have to be another day. It could be through the whole day that you notice that you're stepping up into higher vibrations of yourself. And it's your body learning to adapt to that new energy of who you are. So we are already in preparing those who have not raised their vibrations. And I feel like this huge mass that's happening over like right now, it's like, if you don't get it now, you're not going to get it. And it's all right. You're just going to go through the will of karma on a new guy, on a different Gaia. And you're going to finish out that karma. And then the cleanse is going to happen on this Gaia. And then uh, new Gaia, which we're going to is, um, we're going to start from there. And we're going to start evolving in a different way. So we got this. And they showed me that it was the galactic that did all of this from Source. Source sent everybody out from the cosmos to create this. And it was to have a planet that was free will, free will of Source. Yeah, it was your, and this is what we created. So now it's time for that to end because we've basically, you know, destroyed our world so now instead of it going through complete destruction this is what they showed me too is that the galactic they cannot interfere because of free will they showed me that 
that is one of the main contracts with with Gaia here. Her her essence is uh, free will. So um, I'm going to use this as an example that um, say somebody was going to push the button for the nuclear war. They can put ideas, but they can't stop the event. So um, because of free will, but they can put ideas in the you know telepathic of ideas to you know change direction but they can't stop the actual event if it happens. So in no fear there, whatever, and what they've been showing me is however you see, because every potential of us when we move forward, however it is to be discovered, you will discover it how you see it. So if you believe it's gonna be one way, that's how you will see it when you look back and the world is going through its construction. Yeah, it is constructive.